I think we are good to go. Come on in, come on in, come on in everyone. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, for anybody new here, hi, I'm Maggie, your substitute teacher. As always, I'd like to welcome you to yet another struggle cooking class uh, because I am not a professional chef, nor am I a professional YouTuber. I'm just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. And yes, we got something new we're gonna try today. I got a text message from um, Cracker Barrel about a new menu item. And I had the same reaction as some of y'all. I was horrified and intrigued at the same time. Like, what in the world is this? So we are going to try and recreate it. I am your substitute teacher because I cook sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. And I like to make recipes that I wanna eat using ingredients that I have to eat. So that is the plan. Have I ever made this before? I have not. Has that ever stopped me? It has not. So we are going to make a pancake taco. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. So I don't have a recipe to follow. We're just gonna eyeball this one together and see if we can figure it out. If anybody has had a pancake taco, please let me know. I would love to know. Um, so we will take attendance. We'll see who we have in class here. Then I'll get my uniform on wash my hands and we will get started all right so we are going to make maggie cakes as the pancake and then we have some beef bacon or sausage i'll let you all choose and then we're going to fry an egg well all right so that is the plan so let's see if we can see who do we have over here on uh, TikTok? y'all know it's a lot but let's see if i can greet you all coming in hello user Barbara, Jacob, Ocean Runner, Maya, uh, Real, Russ, Blossom, Carl, Nicole, Betty, Dr. Robinson, Our Chihuahua, Ruthie, Phyllis, C.F. Sharon, Real, Richard, Tulips, Beautiful, Donna, Summer, Olive, Brother, Amy, 128, Angie, Just Gifted, and Lima. I think that's what I saw. Whew. If you would like to be counted present, feel free to announce yourself. However, if you prefer to watch from the clouds and you know who you are, let me put my stuff on do not disturb because y'all know I use my dev my devices and it'll mess up. You are always, always welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family friendly side of YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. All right, I don't see anybody on Instagram yet. That's fine, we are live. So for those of you all on TikTok and anybody who's coming in on Instagram, if you would like to see the full screen, you can come over to MaggieTheSubstituteTeacher.com. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, or Twitter if you would like to see the side by side. And I am Maggie the Substitute Teacher on all platforms, all right? So who do we have here, Oak Ben? Obengai, sorry, I don't mean to butcher it, but welcome, thank you for being here, and hello, Tara. All right, so let's see, who do we have over here? Top of the class today, we've got Lady Navoa, and she says, Maggie, what in the world is that? But she's looking like she's ready to eat. <laughs> she says, I've never heard of this dish. Oh, it's hot here in the South. Interesting, can't wait, show us what it do. Well, I've never made this before, so we're gonna figure it out together. I would love to know if anybody has ever had this in real life. We're just gonna make my version of it, all right? So I'll have to add Cracker Barrel to the list and give you a report back if I actually have the real thing. We have Kirking with Sir Senior says, we ready for this one. Okay, come on in. Sounds like you've got your plate as well. Hello, P. Dot. thank you for being here. We got Jurgen. Jurgen says, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Jurgen in Germany. Always glad that you are here. Welcome. We got Patty Moore, <laughs> Play Lottery. She says, hello, Maggie. Hello, my dear. Thank you. I hope you're feeling lucky in class today. We have Lynn Terrell. My first time seeing you here. Welcome. Thank you so much for watching on Facebook. We got VSA. She says, hi, Maggie. Hello, sweetheart. E. Capone is here. He says, hola, Maggie. Hola, senor. How are you? Uh, e. Capone is going to be cruising with me and lead attorney and AV and uh, Lauren and her husband. If anybody wants to cruise with us, we are sailing next month. All are welcome. There's a link in the description. You can check it out. I'll be celebrating my birthday on the cruise and would love to cruise with you all. So you can check that out. 
We've got a travel agent that's given us a block of room, so I'm very excited. Ooh, coming in already with the $4.99. He says, what I do, Maggie? Hello, thank you so much. You are the stream sponsor. I'm going to get you up on the Struggle Stream whiteboard, which is the microwave. The stream sponsor is the person that gives the biggest cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, Twitter tips, gold coins, whatever you want to do. I really appreciate you all just coming in to watch me figure this stuff out in the kitchen. You don't even have to be here, but then when you come in and you go above and beyond like that, I appreciate it. So let me get you up on the board at $4.99. All right. So we have E. Capone at $4.99. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I receive it graciously. I didn't find $5 in your laundry, so I will take it and I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, we got Tara Dozier. She says, good evening, Miss Maggie in class. So glad to be back tuning in. Welcome. I know life happens, y'all. It happens for me too, trust me. So you're welcome here. You can come late, you can leave early, you can multitask in my class, you can listen without watching, you can watch without listening. I'm just glad that you're here, so I understand. And we got Bonnie Young in the house saying, hello, Maggie. Thank you so much for being here. All right, everyone, so let's get the counters cleaned off. It is hot in Atlanta today. I hope you all are staying cool if it's summertime where you are. And then I'll get my uniform on. No recipe here, but we're just gonna kinda figure it out. So for this recipe, for a pancake taco, so we gotta make tacos shells out of pancakes, which is just gonna be the uh, Maggie cake, which is my two ingredient recipe. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you. And then we're going to make bacon I'll let y'all choose what kind, and then a fried egg. So I'm gonna pull up the uh, Cracker Barrel website and read to you all the description, and then we will assemble, okay? Let me clean my hands. All right, we got Michael Wendy in the house saying hi, hello, sweetheart. We got Jared McCowan in the house. I don't this is my first time, but if it is, welcome. If not, welcome back. Thank you for watching on Facebook. Jared says he is present in class and this sounds good. All right, y'all. If you're here for the pancake taco, um, I was going to say give me a taco emoji or a pancake emoji or a thumbs up emoji. If you're not sure, eh, maybe thumbs down. Hello, Cynthia. Thank you so much for being here. All right, y'all. So I pulled up the Cracker Barrel website. Now, if you're not familiar, y'all know I'm in the Atlanta area. So Cracker Barrel is a <laughs> Southern country restaurant. We've probably all eaten there. If you've uh, been to the South or you're from the South, uh, Cracker Barrel has like a country store in the front with like all those old candies and knickknacks and fudge and toys and stuff like that. It's a little tchotchke-ish out front. They have rocking chairs. They're very common on like highway exits. Um, so it's a place where you can go and they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I think tw not 24 seven, but you can get any meal at any time of the day. All right. So some of you all know we're coming up on, not coming up on the holidays, but the holidays will be here before we know it. And Cracker Barrel, Publix, Kroger, I have used them for catering uh, for holiday meals because I cook pretty much every day on the holidays, like Christmas, Thanksgiving, even Easter. I like to order it prepared, heat and serve. So I'm on their mailing list and their text message list. So they have a new item on the menu, y'all. And I saw this, I was like, what? What in our, what in all tarnation? So it says new, can y'all see that? Brunch time, anytime, new pancake tacos. Two signature buttermilk pancakes folded and filled with bacon, egg, and shredded cheese. Served with a side of 100% pure syrup for dipping in a choice of breakfast side. So it looks like they have, I don't know if that's hash browns or what. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna try and make it. Have I ever made it before? No. So we're going to make 
pancakes. I feel like one would be enough, but we'll see. Cause um, uh, Cracker Barrel pancakes, they're pretty big. And then we need to fry eggs and then we need to cook bacon. Oh, I need to get the cheese out as well. All right. Ah, oh, E. Capone says, we had a hurricane and an earthquake in the same day here in LA. Oh no, please stay safe. And I don't know if I told you Capone, I'm actually coming to LA September 8th. I'm just coming for the day. I was invited to a YouTube shorts party. So very excited. And of course, whenever I travel, I take you all with me. So if you like what I'm doing, you can stay tuned for more. Uh, usually I'm cooking. If I'm not cooking, I'm doing a dining documentary or a travel documentary for you. So I will be in LA um, September 8th for a YouTube party. So uh, let me know if you want to have a cup of coffee or say hi at the airport or anything like that. But please be safe. We got Tasha Arnett in the house. She says, hello, Miss Maggie. Hello, my dear. Lady Navoa says, let's go, Maggie. Show us what it do with the pancake taco. <laughs> All right. Linda with the love note. She says, hello, Maggie. Hello, sweetheart. Yes, y'all be, be careful on the west side, uh, west coast, Hawaii. Just take care. Okay, absolutely. Lady Navoa says, that's a baller move, Maggie. Fly to LA for the day. I haven't said too much about it, but uh, I was invited to be part of a YouTube shorts community. It's a new community they've stood up. Y'all know, or if you don't know, I have a couple shorts that have gone viral, like over 3 million views. And so they stood up a new community of those of us who do shorts, with the, which are the little uh, like under 60 second clips. And so they have like different networking and different um, events and a whole bunch of stuff uh, in the works. So stay tuned. I'm very excited, but thank you. Maggie, come to Monterey. Is that in California? Y'all know I'm in Atlanta. Anything past Texas, I don't really know, but you'll have to let me know. Y'all are saying hello to each other. All right, let me get my apron on. <clears throat> and y'all already know you won't find Maggie on OnlyFans. However, you can always find me on OnlyPans if you want your custom apron. Hello, Black Beauty. Aprons are $20, link is in the description. You can get multiple colors and sizes and customize it however you would like, all right? Oh yes, California, it's pretty by the ocean. I've been to LA just in a layover from Australia and I went to, my cousin went to, oh God, what is that school out there that starts with a P? Beautiful, on the water, he took me on the coast, you know what it is. He went to law school out there, beautiful school. All right, so we're ready to go. And uh, let's see, order of operations here. So let's start with the bacon because bacon can cook and stay cool. So I'm gonna give you all a choice, okay? So I have this pack here of beef bacon. Of course, I'm sure in this full flavor recipe they could they use a, a like a pork bacon. If you can have pork or you prefer that, please. But I'm just trying to figure this out with what I have, all right? And what else do I have? Okay. We used these before. I was actually kind of surprised by them. I have these sausage strips. They're already open. I just grabbed some stuff out of the fridge. So let me know if y'all want bacon or sausage. Um, we used those before. What did I make? I was making like a meatless Monday meal and somebody wanted some bacon. So we did the sausage and I was surprised. They have like a really nice, like sweet maple -y flavor to them. Pepperdine. That's it. My cousin went to law school at Pepperdine and he drove me up there and they have like this thing at the top and you look over the water. It was beautiful. I had like a 12 hour layover from Australia and um, he took me to Hollywood and you saw the, where people put their hands in the pavement, all of that. You love LA? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so I know we're on delay, so let me know what y'all want. We're gonna cook our bacon in the air fryer. So let me see here. If I can go to the Cracker Barrel Instagram, I think they had a little video of this so people can see what we're making. And you all can vote on what you want. If anybody's been to Cracker Barrel before and you like uh, an item there, let me know. All right, so this is on their page. So that's what I'm gonna try and make. Let's switch it. 
Okay, they got my ring light going. Uh oh, wrong one. Let's take the brightness down. Okay. So I've got my air fryer tray. Lady Navoa wants bacon. You got it, my dear. And we're going to do beef bacon because that's what I have. All right. If you have like, you could probably do turkey bacon, uh, of course, pork bacon, whatever you like. Uh, but I'm going to open up this beef bacon. Uh, this is approved for me. So I think I got it at um, Ingalls. I don't know, y'all. I shop everywhere. All right. So we're just going to line the drip tray. This beef bacon looks pretty lean compared to like pork bacon that's going to have a lot more drippings, but either way, we're going to put that here. Let me get some scissors. We'll cut open, cut this open. All right. Oh, does this just tear open? Hold up. I'm not strong though. Okay, forget it. Who do we have here? The Watcher Supreme says bacon, hip hip hooray. We got some meditarians in class. Y'all come through. Hello, uh, Timmons. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, shout out to the meditarians. I know Jurgen is always here for Team Meat. Lady Navoa is here for Team. I don't think my scissors are. Might need to get a new pair add that to the wish list all right so with bacon especially the uh, pork bacon i try to cut like a u shape around it so i can lift the um the piece of bacon out here because if you pull it from the side for me it kind of hangs over it's not the end of the world but i try to kind of get in here we'll be okay let's see it looks like each taco just has one piece of bacon in there. So let me get my tray. Y'all know I try to recreate this stuff. So I just have a mesh rack. It's raised up a little bit so that we can get the hot air on both sides of the bacon. All right, so let's see if I can get this out. All right. So it kind of looks like turkey bacon. This is my first time using this one, but it is beef bacon. There's a part of me that feels like, you know what, just for, we got all this surface area. All right, so this is gonna go in the air fryer. We'll do like 400, 400 degrees, maybe like seven minutes, and um, we'll take it out and just let it stay kind of cool and crispy. So let me clean my hands and put that in. <laughs> oh, what are y'all saying here? Linda says chicken and dumplings are very good. So you've had chicken and dumplings at Cracker Barrel. That sounds good. If y'all can think of any comfort food that you like from fried chicken, cornbread, mac and cheese, pancakes, it's all that Southern food that we don't need to eat all the time. Hello, Shaw brother. Thank you for being here. Lady Navoa says, I can't do turkey. If I'm going to do bacon, I'm going to do pork. Hey, Y'all know, I am not the food police. Please have it your way, uh, Burger King. Let's go ahead and put this in. I'm just gonna put another tray kind of over top. The reason why I have to remember in the air fryer, there's a fan in there. And so sometimes it'll move like um, lightweight things around like tortillas or chips or bacon. So this just kind of gives me a little bit of structure so it stays flat, all right? So I'm just gonna put it over top so it doesn't fly away. I want to fly away. All right. I want to fly. Okay, I know, I know. Uh, Lady Navoa says, you bake yours too. It's better baked bacon. I just don't like getting splattered all about. I mean, look, I know cooking is messy and that can be a good thing. It's a great, you know, at home date, but I'm just trying not to get, you know, popped. So let's clean it. Let's uh, cover this up and clean this and then we'll move on to the pancakes, okay?
what everybody talking about. The African wolf says you sending us a few plates. Absolutely. In all seriousness, do I have it in here? If y'all want me to ship you something, it has to be baked goods, but we do have Maggie mail. You can scan that if you all would like for me to send you anything. I am happy to mail it to you. Uh, I think I have a link in the description, but if not, let me know. So far, I've done like banana bread, red velvet cupcakes. What else have I sent out? I don't know, but anything that can ship and I'll buy the ingredients and make it for you for free on a stream. Just cover the shipping and I'll send it however you'd like. But uh, I would absolutely cook for y'all. Anytime you're in the area, let me know. Um, all right, so let me clean off the counter since we had some raw meat and then we're gonna move over to the Maggie cakes. And if you can have regular pancakes, please have some for me. Jurgen is smiling. He's our, our main meditarian in class. We got D. Dawson in the house. D. Dawson got some Maggie mail. Uh, what did I send you? I can't remember. Was it the red velvet? Anyway, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Lady Navoa says, Maggie, I'm coming to dinner. Do you cook soul food? I probably can, but y'all, I'm African, so I really wasn't raised on soul food, but I'll try anything. I mean, of course I can fry catfish and I can, you know, I can probably, I can make cornbread. I can do all of that, but I try not to eat that. So I'm not that good at it, but I don't really think I'm that good at anything as far as cooking. Cause I'm the daughter of a home science teacher and mom would just like, oh, but, um, yeah, I love to learn and I love to try, try new things. Uh, I think it's fun. Hello, Simply. Thank you so much for being here. All right, let me clean my hands again. But I'm happy to try if you have a recipe you want me to try. I usually eat sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. But when the boys are here from their dad, then I will uh, cook like regular food that they can eat. You said, uh, you're pretty sure... Uh, you do cook it all, even things. I didn't know you could or should mix to cook, and I'm a cook freestyle too. Not sure I understand, but hopefully my answer helped. But if there's a recipe that you all want me to try, feel free to spam me with whatever you want me to make, and I will do my best. And that's another reason why I want to do some of the Maggie mail, because I want to get some more weight off. I'm down 80, but I want to get some more weight off, especially before the cruise. And I just end up having more stuff in the house than I need to eat. Jurgen is here for the cheese. Yes, we're going to put cheese in this as well. All right. So speaking of cheese, I'm going to show you all how to make the Maggie cakes. You need two ingredients. So the Maggie cakes are kind of my signature, inspired from a two-ingredient pancake recipe I saw for eggs, and cream cheese. However, I have to avoid cow dairy. So instead of cream cheese, I'm going to use goat's cheese. Okay, so we're going to make pancakes from those two ingredients. Lauren, I was just thinking about you, y'all. Shout out to Lauren. You don't know her yet, but I'm going to um, make a post about Lauren. She's actually going to come speak at the finishing school. Any ladies who are interested in refining and she is our attorney. So she helps us make sure everything is protected and she's coming to Atlanta. So when she comes, y'all will see Lauren in the kitchen with me. Okay, so eggs. And I'm using whole eggs, but you can absolutely do the Maggie cakes or this recipe with um, horrible eggs because this recipe we don't need to separate the eggs from the whites. I saw Auntie Jenny made a comment about the container being blue. I think they just have different sizes. These are medium. I think they came in the giveaway box but I've seen white, pink, blue or yeah you could get the brown ones in the carton too. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh Lauren I love you too my dear. Cooking with Sir Senior says my wife said what part of the country are you in? I'm in Atlanta. I'm in the Atlanta area. Shout out to the south. Okay. So I am using this goat's cheese. Okay, so this is goat's cheese. It says plain. You can get flavored goat's cheese just like you can get flavored cream cheese. Okay, uh, thank you for the compliment, Joda. Hello, Simply. Um, wow, Carolyn is asking for 
oxtail soup and pinto beans and bread pudding. I think I need a nap just reading that. I would probably do one at a time. I have made oxtails before. I don't really eat a lot of beans, but I could make it if you'd like. And bread pudding, I'm not a fan, but I would try it. I would try it. Hello, Tricy. Okay, so with goat's cheese, this is what I'm using instead of cream cheese. So you can see it's a soft, white, creamy cheese. You can get different flavors. You can get it sweet or savory. So when I say I'm dairy free, I avoid cow dairy. Now, goat's cheese does have an acquired taste to it. It's got a little bit of a funk to it. If you like blue cheese or sour cream, you'll be fine. Some brands are stronger than others, but Believe me, in the pancake, it comes out really, really good. I know it sounds weird. Uh, Lady Navoa says ATL. Uh, uh, D Dawson says, believe me, she will send it. Oh, I sent you a cupcake. You enjoyed it. I think I sent you red velvet, right? Yeah, absolutely. I don't mind, y'all. I'll buy the ingredients. I'll make it for free. We'll have fun on the live stream, and I'll send it to you, no problem. So if you're interested, uh, click um scan that QR code so I know what you want me to make, put your address, how you want me to ship it, and I'll do it on a stream for you. Absolutely. African Wolf says red velvet. See, now you got my attention. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so for our pancakes, we need a blender. So I'm gonna use my little ninja. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and make all of the pancake batter, but we're not gonna cook all of the pancake batter. These Maggie cakes will keep okay so if you want to do like half cook half you can and then save it will stay in the fridge <laughs> mr ckb says pancake tacos hello sir hello princess yes we're making um cracker barrel so you all can see this came in a text message i'm on cracker barrels list they have a new menu item so we are going to try and recreate it okay Oh, it was red velvet? Yes, absolutely. Linda's going to be in Atlanta on Friday. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. Lady Navoa says, fried chicken. You can show it how to make the best way crispy. Wow, I haven't deep fried in a while, but we could also do it like a shallow fry. The boys will be here this weekend. I'm a mom of two teenage boys. I pretty much live with their dad and they visit me now that they're older. So when they're here, I'll make all that good hearty food. <sighs> we got a new stream sponsor, the African Wolf one penny so we had e capone at 4.99 the african wolf is coming in with the five dollars he says keep cooking thank you so much all right so you are the stream sponsor i appreciate it so much thank you e capone can't wait to see you on the cruise but we have a new stream sponsor oh bacon see okay this is how i mess up y'all let's take a look at our bacon hello senior Put a pin in that, one moment. Um, okay. Okay, not bad. I thought it was worse than it is. Oh, is it not showing? Okay, so what do y'all think? Are we good with this for the bacon? I'll just let it sit, or if you want it a little bit darker, I'll put it back in. So y'all let me know while I put the African wolf up on the board, okay? Smells good. Smells bacony. All right. So we have the African wool. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate it. I didn't find $5 in your laundry, so I will take it. Thank you. African wolf at $5. I know it's bright outside. I don't know if y'all can see that. Thank you. And I will keep cooking. I enjoy cooking for y'all. We got Big Stags in the house. He says you should set up a cash app too. I have one. If you scan the QR code right here, <laughs> right there, that's my cash app. And it's easy. It's just M Brown. Y'all know my name is Margaret. Maggie is my childhood nickname. So M Brown takes you directly to me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got Nate in the house. She says, good evening. And Nate says, a little bit darker on the bacon. All right, so let me put this back in here. We got a little brown on the edges. And this is beef bacon, so it's not going to be as marbly as like um, 
pork bacon, but we'll see if we can get a little bit darker, okay? Because we want to make our pancake tacos. Okay, so we'll give that another like five minutes. Big Stag says, okay, thanks. No, thank you. you I appreciate that. Y'all don't even have to come in here and watch me. What does lead attorney say? Construction projects. I have fun with it. All right, now back to the pancakes or as I call them, Maggie Cakes. Black Beauty says, cook it more. Okay, you got it. Danielle, thank you for the compliments, sweetheart. Okay, so for the Maggie Cakes, you need a blender and your recipe is really simple. Cream cheese, if you can have it, and eggs. So my substitute for cream cheese is goat's cheese. And if you wanna give goat's cheese a try in your grocery store, hello, Byland, you're not gonna find it in the back with the cheeses, you're going to find it kind of in the front where the deli is, okay? So where you find like the boar's head and all that stuff, you'll find goat's cheese. So it is a one to one ratio. That's the recipe, all right? So since this is an eight ounce log of goat's cheese, we need eight eggs. Now I could cut it in half. I could buy a smaller log, whatever. One egg for each ounce of goat's cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and make all the batter because we're gonna blend it, but I'm not gonna cook all the batter. It will keep, okay? And then I'll show you how we'll cook them and tomorrow or the next day you can make it. Hello, Tyra. All right, so let's go ahead and open this and I'm just gonna use my hands and break it up in the blender so that it gets down below the blades. And you can do this, this is plain goat's cheese, so substitute for plain cream cheese or nuftachel. If you want a lower fat option, um, you could also do like the honey flavor. If you do, I'll show you. The cream cheeses that have juices and berries inside, you can use it, but your pancakes will be darker, which is fine. But for example, like cranberry goat's cheese. If you did this, your pancakes would be like a purple or something like that. So if you want, uh oh, if you want like the golden brown, you want to use a plain uh, goat's cheese or cream cheese. Okay. So let's say this is similar to the whole um, Philadelphia cream cheese block. All right. So I did take it out of the fridge a little bit. And I'm just going to break it up by hand uh oh, and get it in there. So we can go all the way down the blade. All right, that's pretty good. We'll just, you don't tell me no gloves. You said, Maggie, use your hands. So I'm gonna be washing them a lot. <laughs> all right, let's check on our bacon. Y'all know I've burned bacon before and then y'all talk about me, so I'm nervous. Ah, Mona says, did someone say breakfast for dinner? I sure did, sweetheart. Welcome, Mona. All right, so we have eight ounces of goat's cheese in here. That's all we have so far. Now, since it's a one-to-one -one ratio, we need eight eggs. So these pancakes are going to be all protein, all right? So let me start cracking, crack a lacking. We got Mona saying, hey, we got Patty Moore says, Maggie, just want to say, you are an example of what to aspire to. <laughs> Don't make me cry. I'm a softie. Thank you for the compliment. That really means a lot to me because, y'all, I know I'm new to a lot of people. I've been this way my whole life, corny and just, you know, happy at home and doing my thing. And I didn't think anybody would care. As a matter of fact, I mean, I have been corporate since college. And so, you know, just most people, a lot of women, you know, they got something to say, but I'm happy, right? So I'm like, hey, I'm going to do me. So we've got four eggs, four more. And you know what I found in all seriousness, because I'm very passionate about helping young women. Shout out to the finishing school. Um, now that I'm older and I'm 47, but now that I'm older and I'm like, I've been this way my whole life. It's not going to change. So many people have said something like that. And um, 
just allow me to encourage young ladies. You don't need a hot girl summer. I'll just say that. Carry on. You didn't ask me that. All right. But um, yeah, I have a lot of professional accolades, but I'm proudest of taking care of the family. All right, so we have eight eggs. And um, again, if you don't have the pourable eggs, because I know we have some travelers, truckers, uh, college students, since it's back to school, um, you could absolutely use the pourable eggs. Not everybody has access to fresh. So let me clean my hands and check our bacon again. Y'all, I think I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna bring it out so y'all can see. And then we'll pick this up because all that's left is we gotta blend it. All right, but thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Aw, where are y'all? We got Lily in the house. She says, hey y'all, hey, hello sweetheart. All right. Here comes the beef bacon. All right, I think y'all will be happy now. So we got it a little bit darker, a little bit crispier and foamier. So I think this is good. I'm just going to set it behind me. It's hot. And just let it do its thing. That's one thing I struggle with with cooking. My mom can do everything and it's all at the right temperature, but I have to really think and do things in a particular order um, so that it, it comes together well. Thank you all for liking the live stream. Hmm, everybody's saying hello to each other. Lily says the thumbnail looks good. Thank you. I just grabbed it from Cracker Barrel. Y'all, I am not an artist. Mm -mm. All my thumbnails are just pictures of food because we all eat with our eyes. All right, so let's put the eggs away for now. So now we have our pancake batter. I know you don't believe me, but trust me. Hello, Miguel. Hello, Loki. Hello, Corey. Thank you so much for being here. Mary says, hello. How are you doing today? Thank you. Uh, yes, have a blessed and wonderful day. Shout out, Ohio. Thank you. All right, so let's turn that off. Okay, so for your Maggie cakes, you need two ingredients, eggs and cream cheese or eggs and goat's cheese. Now, you can stop here and just blend it and you'll be good to go. However, why be regular? when you can be extra. You can doctor these up however you want them. So I'm gonna put a little bit of extract, just a little bit of vanilla. All this is completely optional, but I think vanilla just gives you a little bit of, I don't know. So we're gonna put some vanilla in here. You could also do, and I probably will, if you wanna do cinnamon, if you wanna do nutmeg. Hello, C. Nell. hello, CES. Um, you could also do like sweetener, like sugar-free sugar. Y'all know I like to do that. Um, these pancake tacos are served with syrup on the side. So of course I got my sugar-free syrup, but uh, you could put whatever you want in there. So we got some vanilla. And then since we're doing like a bacon thing, I just got a little maple extract. Not a huge fan of maple, so I'll just do a little bit. I won't doctor it up too much, but just letting y'all know you can put whatever you want in the batter, okay? If you're making these for the first time, I would probably make them plain and then try one thing at a time. Excuse me. Lady Navoa says, that's what I'm doing, breakfast for dinner. Thank you again. You're welcome, sweetheart. Lady Navoa says, I'm not corny. I'm... Okay. Do I even want to ask? I'll ask. I was going to say, how would you all describe me? All right. We're good here. You could put skinny syrups, caramel, whatever you want. I would love to know, describe Maggie in one word. This should be fun. All right, for anybody who wants to participate, what one word best describes me? This is gonna be funny. Hello, Marilyn, thank you so much for being here. Um, Mary says, can you do a waffle the same way you love waffles? Yes, but if you're going to do a waffle, with this ingredient, with these ingredients, it's gonna be a little bit more cakey. If you wanna do a waffle, I would use shredded cheese, like a drier cheese. The creamy cheese is gonna give you more of a cake texture. The shredded cheese is gonna give you more of a crispy texture. Ah, y'all are saying pure, 
to describe Maggie, pleasant to describe Maggie. Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh my gosh, so much. Let's see, a lot of people are used to craziness because that's what they're raised around. Unfortunately, that's true. Uh, lady says, I look good for my age. Thank you, sweetheart. Just simple. I don't do too much. I don't do much at all because I need to uh, <laughs> keep it up. Y'all can't see me looking like red car carpet one day and then see me looking like who shot John. No, nah, we can't do that. But thank you. Lily says, some people try to fake it till they make it and it ends up hurting them in the end. I know, I know. Y'all are too old to change. This is what you got. <laughs> Big Stag says your hidden lifestyle is needed to be taught. Well, I appreciate that. And we do have a finishing school. Let me change the banner. It starts next month. Um, I believe we have, there were three scholarships. I think two have been given out and there's one more. So if you all are interested, Lucy and I, uh oh, wrong one. Lucy and I will be teaching the ladies etiquette elegance and femininity in the finishing school for the modern woman. So I'm very excited. Ah, oh, Loki says angel. Black Beauty says joyful. Wow, y'all are so, I'm such a softie. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so we are going to blend the batter. So again, eggs, and cream cheese. So we're just gonna mix it up until it gets like a light yellow and that's it for our pancake batter. Now we're gonna be ready to cook. Oh my gosh, what are y'all saying over here? I, I'm so far behind. We got Kia G in the house. She says, hello Maggie in class, happy Monday. Happy Monday, sweetheart. Let's go ahead and blend this batter and then I'll come back to the comments because we're gonna make two pancakes to try and recreate this, all right? So if you need to mute, I'm about to blend. Here's your warning. Okay, I would say about 30 seconds. You want to blend it so that the cream cheese or goat's cheese is not like thick and chunky. We like it thick and chunky. The pancakes, okay? Not me. I know. You've told me. I get it. I'm working on it. So this is our pancake batter. So you all can see here, it's like a light yellow. And you can see it's a lot more watery than regular pancakes. That is normal. There is no flour. But when you eat these pancakes, they'll last you all day because you won't have to lay down. All right? Hello, uh, Shaw Lynn. And hello, Always Jay. Thank you so much for being here. Tombia says, what kind of mixer is that? It is the Ninja. It's an old one, y'all. It is the Ninja food processor. This is what I got. Let me see if I have the top for it. Oh. I'll have to find, yeah, I need to find the other one, but it's uh, Ninja. I know that's probably backwards on uh, TikTok. Hello, James and Jay Way says, is that custard? No, we're making pancakes, but I'm just using the Ninja um, food processor. So I am going to take the blade out. And again, y'all will see how watery it is. This is normal. All right, so let me rinse this off. All right, and let's clean this. Ah, oh, Kia says, hello, happy Monday. All about the Mac says, you're so nice and sweet, Maggie. Aw, shucks. Y'all are gonna make me blush. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Will the custard explode? No, this is not exploding custard. Wilbert, wherever you are. We got Miss Strong. She says, hi, Maggie in class. Happy belated birthday to you, my dear. Nate says, perfect. You would describe me as perfect? No, I have flaws. But thank you, quite the compliment. All right, so I'm gonna keep reading. If y'all wanna describe me in one word, I would use corny, but I appreciate y'all are so kind. So this is the Dash Griddle. Now you all have seen me use these. I've got the big one and I've got the smaller one. 
All right. So Dash makes grills, griddles, waffle maker. Usually I use the small one, but because for this recipe, we're going to fold it in half like a taco. I thought more surface area would be better. So I do have these on my cheat sheet so you all can see what I use. Um, so I'm going to try and make a pancake that we don't have to flip but I might have to flip it, all right? So I'm just gonna plug it up and then when it gets hot, we'll put the butter on it and then we'll pour the pancake batter in here and we'll make two pancakes, all right? So when you plug it up, the light will come on. Then when it hits temperature, the light will go off. So we're just gonna wait for it to come to temperature. Ah, thank you. You said pleasant. I appreciate that. Everybody's saying hello to each other. Thank you all so much. Everybody's uh, in class. Lady says, you don't damp your bacon or sausage with a paper towel. I could because it was, um, what's it called? Foaming. Usually I do, especially with pork bacon, I'll put it on a plate. So let's go ahead and do that now while this is warming up. But since this was pretty lean, we still got a little bit of foam on it, but it's gotten like nice and crispy. So let's go ahead and blot our bacon for Lady Navoa. Make sure we don't have too much oil on there. Usually what I do is I put it on a plate with paper towels and then just let the oil kind of soak in there. But you can tell compared to regular bacon, like barely anything dripped down. This is beef bacon, but if you all can have regular bacon, please have some for me. All right, so this is cooled off and ready for assembly. All right, so we're waiting on this to heat up. <laughs> yes, put it on the paper towel to take off any grease. Hello, IS, thank you so much for being here. All right, Lily says, I agree. As soon as I try to do multiple things, my food burns. That's a struggle for me, y'all, especially like trying to cook so I'm doing like this one meal a day. So I'm actually eating what I make, y'all. Then I get excited and I forget, burn stuff. Lily says, you got inspiration to post food on TikTok. Let us know your channel. We'll pull it up here if you want me to. Happy to shout you out. Absolutely, everybody. Oh, you got inspiration for me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I started my YouTube channel about a year and a half ago. Hello, your credit matters. Um, just to kind of, you know, help myself, um, always carried extra weight, but over 40, the um, weight problem started to turn into a health problem. And I used to be pre-diabetic, used to have elevated cholesterol and used to have borderline blood pressure. All of that is normal now, no medication. Um, I've changed completely the way I eat, drink and snack. Hello, Elvis. And so when I would cook, I would just post the finished product online and people were like, did you make that? Y'all heard it click? I heard it click. All right, whoo. All right, now it went off. Butter. Okay, so I'm coming back to the story time and how y'all describe me. Let me pull this forward so everybody can see. Try and make sure everybody, all right. Hopefully y'all can see. So we need to grease this up. You can use like the oil of your choice. I like butter, again, to stay dairy free. I'm using goat's milk butter. This I got from Whole Foods. You can also get it online. It's regular butter just made with goat's milk. And I literally just use it like a magic marker, top and bottom, and then we're gonna pour the pancake batter, okay? Then we'll let it cook. All right, so now we're just going to pour the batter that we blended. And I'm actually gonna pour it, not all the way. <laughs> Y'all, this is a big pancake. Okay, and then we're just gonna close and we're gonna let it cook. Now you can absolutely do these in a skillet. However, if you're going to do a skillet, get a smaller skillet because you want the sides to stop the pancake from spreading because it's so like uh, 
I don't want to say watery, but it's not thick like pancake batter. It'll go all the way out like a crepe. So you don't want to use a big uh, skillet. So use a smaller one and then pour it. And then when you're going to turn it, you want to get all the way up underneath there with the spatula. Okay. If you just try and turn it like this, it doesn't have enough structure. It'll overhang and it'll break from you. So you'll see my technique. I actually use two spatulas and I use one to get up underneath there and the other one to lift it and the other one to get all the way underneath there and then turn it quickly in the pan. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. So let's let this cook. Then we're going to do our eggs in here. Then we'll be done. Everybody's saying hello to each other. Ooh, Lady Naboa would describe me as intelligent, wise, traditional, and caring. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Mr. Getting It, hello, welcome. We've got a brown cupcake. Hello, my dear. Thank you for being here. Lily says, nice. Thank you, sweetheart. Lady says, you have more. <laughs> you got more words. I just... I said one word and Lady Noboa is coming through. Uh, traditional can be for it all. Thank you for saying that. I like being traditional. I don't know why that's such a bad thing, but I just grew up in a very traditional family. And so I just kind of do what I saw uh, modeled. And um, that goes for all of us. You know, we all grew up the way that we grew up. Me, traditional nuclear family, mom, dad, sister, brother. And this is what my mom did. Hello, Sammy. So I know everybody didn't have that, um, but the good news is you can seek it out if you didn't get it. So that's the community that I'm looking to create. So I appreciate it. Patty says genuine. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Patty says one word is not enough. Oh my goodness, y'all. Kia says Maggie is beautiful, kind, and modest. Thank you for modest. She has a pure and genuine heart. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I knew that was you. I knew. When you said, is the custard going to explode? I already knew. Y'all hear it sizzling, percolating? Let me get my spatulas and then we'll continue. I can only do one thing at a time, y'all. All right. Bacon is done. All right. We got two spatulas for the turnover. All about the max. Everybody's saying hello. Big Stag says you would describe me as genuine. Thank you, sir. Uh, Big Stag says you like your bacon slightly limp. Okay, this is a little bit crispy for you. Understood. The Condemned says are Cracker Barrels pancakes still good? You haven't been there in like a decade. I think they're good. Let's take a look, y'all. Okay, now. We're going to have to turn it over. I'm nervous. I'm going to take a look at the bottom. This one is deeper, so I don't get all the heat from the top. Hello, Pulley. Hello, Chardon. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. So I'm going to lift up on the side. The smaller one, it closes more uh, closely, so you get that good color on both sides. Okay. I'm nervous. I am so nervous. Okay. So what I'm going to try and do... Okay. I can't talk. I'm going to say it, and then hopefully I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and lift up the corner, get all the way up underneath there, and turn it in the same spot. Ah! Okay. Doggone it. It's harder, y'all, but it's okay. It's okay. One moment, got a little accident. The, um, ooh, hot, 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 hot. because these uh, pancakes don't have flour, it's, it's hard for me to turn them. It just is, but we've got some nice color on there and let's cook the other side and we'll get a nice brown. You know, those cooking shows where everything comes out perfect. This is not that. <laughs> All right, so let us, I'm gonna get a wire rack. So when we take this one out, we'll put it off to the side and we'll do one more. Hello, Sharmar, thank you for being here. Okay. Hmm. But I think they're still good and that warm, C 
syrup that they give you at Cracker Barrel. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Lady Navoa says, OMG, I'm about to cook early. It's still lunchtime here. Yeah, I bet on the West Coast. Thank you, Miss Maggie. That bacon looks good, and now I'm seeing the dish. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Colette, you, you're late. You need the ingredients. Two ingredients, cream cheese and eggs. I'm using goat's cheese to avoid dairy, cow dairy. One-to-one -one ratio, one egg for every ounce of cream cheese or goat's cheese. Let me see how we're looking on the bottom, y'all. Okay, I think it looks good. Now I'm going to try and move this over to the wire rack. I just wanna make sure we got, y'all can see we have a nice brown on the bottom. Just wanna make sure we got it nice and cooked. All right, let's see. Let's do two of them. Okay. So you all can see we have one pancake <laughs> and uh, the back is nice and brown. Y'all can see. So I'm gonna set this behind me, one Maggie cake, okay? So let that cool because it's lava hot. And um, we'll do one more. I don't think I'm going to eat but one, but I'm going to try and do, that's a lot of food because we're still going to put more protein in it. All right. So I'm just going to wipe and I'm going to butter and I'm going to put a little bit less batter in here so that hopefully I can turn the next one better. Okay, so let's get the butter in there for the brown or oil spray or whatever you like. Goat's butter for me. And I'm just gonna do the bottom because the top, if I showed you all this from the side, it's thicker than, um, that's why I don't get any browning from the top. But ideally, you really shouldn't have to um, turn it. All right, so I am just gonna pour until we get to the edge. And I'm gonna stop. All right. We'll try one more. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, making a mess. So then when this one comes out, we're gonna put it on a rack and then we're gonna crack our eggs in here. I'm gonna do everything here. Of course, you can do your eggs on the stove as well but we're gonna do this little griddle for everything. So I didn't use all of the batter. So this batter will keep. I'm gonna put this whole thing in the fridge. So if you wanted to make pancake batter for two, three days, you could blend it, excuse me. And then in the morning, you could just already, you know, just swirl it a little bit. You have your batter ready to go for your sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free pancakes. Um, you could drop blueberries in them. That's my signature. You could do um, like McGriddle, um, you know what I'm talking about. Sandwich, bread, pancake, you know what I'm talking about. Um, all kind of stuff. Or just have them plain. Oh, all right, so this is good. I'll just put this in the fridge for now. All right. So we're going to keep an eye on this. I'm not expecting the top to be done yet. It's still browning. I want that butter to get up in there. We're going to try and turn it. Then we're going to crack. Should we do the eggs in the small one? I'm wondering. Yeah, that might be, that might make sense. We'll do both. We'll see what happens. Well, I'll let you all vote for our pancake taco. Should we do eggs big or small? You all tell me. All right, let's see if we can turn this without an accident. All right, so it's it's hopping. It's doing its thing. I just lift it up on the side. Color looks good. Get the biggest spatula you can find. Kind of lift up the side. I use two. and I'm not good at it. 
try and lift it up, get all the way underneath there if you can. Okay, let me jiggle it over a little bit. I think that's going to be better, y'all. The, the smaller pancake, it's not as much to flip. All right, I didn't get it perfectly brown, but we're going to be all right. Okay, Mona says small. Sonia and James say small. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and crack an egg in here. I'm going to move this behind, and let's go ahead and get this one started. Our bacon is done. So same thing. I'll just plug this one up. Let it warm up and get the eggs. Okay, and we're pretty much done. I'm excited. Thank you, James. Welcome, my first time seeing you here. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Okay, I don't, oh, cheese. Okay. Oh, I hear it, I heard the click. All right. So y'all know me and the cheese. So I'm going to shred some Colby Jack while our eggs are cooking. Uh, also goat's cheese so I can avoid cow dairy. Okay, focus, Maggie. All right, so let's take this one out. Let's see how we're looking on the bottom. Okay, I could kind of keep it there. We'll leave it there. All right, so this one, we want this one to heat up. All right, so in case anybody just popped in. Where is that Cracker Barrel? I think they use Colby Jack as well. I could be wrong, but yeah. So this is the Pancake Taco, two signature buttermilk pancakes folded and filled with bacon, egg, and shredded cheese. Okay, served with pure natural syrup for dipping and a choice of a side. Y'all, that's a lot of food. Okay, so I have some goat's cheese. All right, waiting on that. And we'll crack an egg in there. We'll make two eggs. So our pancake is good. I think I'll move this out. Yeah. I'm going to put it on a wire rack just so I can kind of hold it. You see uh, on the thumbnail, I think they have them wrapped in foil. So thinner is better. So you all can see our pancake. And I'm just putting it on the wire rack so it doesn't get too, too hot. You can see we got nice color on both sides, all right? So these are my Maggie cakes. You can stack them up, butter, syrup, eat them like a pancake. Okay, so that's done. Let's make our eggs. Let me just move this out of the way. I'll break it. Okay. So this has gotten to temperature. Sorry, y'all. Of course, we could fry eggs on the stove, but you know what? Just gonna put a little butter in here and crack an egg. We'll do eggs fried uh, well is what the recipe says. All right. So we're just gonna let that egg do its thing. So we'll make two eggs. Those will be easy to turn. All right, so while this is going, this could be a dorm room or shout out to our truckers, travel nurses, anybody in a hotel, you can make this. <laughs> All right, let's shred a little bit of cheese, please. Because we need to put it on there while it's hot. Jurgen has brought his plate. All right, y'all, let's get ready to assemble. Avengers assemble. What does the thumbnail look like? Did I have it in here? Mm. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it looks like we've got them with a little bit of foil. So we need to get, we're gonna wrap them up. That'll keep them warm and make them easy to hold. So let's shred a little bit of cheese. I'm gonna bring these over. Just kind of stack them and put the melting dough so we keep a little bit of heat. All right. 
And then we just need to get in here and get a little shredded cheese. If you have the cheese already in the bag, that's fine. But for the goat's milk cheese, it comes in the block. How's our egg doing? Oh, egg is looking good. Let's see, is it still a little bit soft? On this one, we don't want like a runny yolk. Or if you do, that's fine. Oh, let's get this shredded. Should have been doing this while I was doing Scrabble with y'all. Okay, egg is talking to me. So let's go ahead and put this. Uh, it's still soft. I'm gonna turn it over y'all because I want that yolk set. It's just a little bit jiggly on the inside. And uh, some of y'all like your eggs fried hard. Fried hard. Ah, it's like everything's coming together. Like, oh man. Where's my scissors? Okay. Let's check on this egg and then do the last one. I think we're good. Oh yeah, it's nice and firm. So we've got one fried egg. I'm just gonna put it on top of that pancake and let's do the last egg and then we're ready to assemble. So one of these is enough. Probably should do some salt and pepper, but we're just gonna make it plain and see what we get. Let's get some shredded cheese. And I think we're ready. We got this thing sealed up tight. Jurgen is ready to eat. I'm coming. Is it ready yet? I'm working on it. We're hungry. I know. I'm coming. Oh, goodness. Okay, good. So now we're just going to shred this by hand. Just want to make sure I get the plastic off. Doesn't look like a lot of cheese, so just enough to get a nice little melt. All right. So we just have some shredded Colby Jack goat's milk cheese. All right, so let's plate it up. Let's let that egg do what it's doing. All right, so we're gonna start with our plate. That looks like a round plate. Let's get a round plate. Y'all know I try to be fancy. Okay, got a plate. We need some foil. I'm trying to go for this. So let's get our foil and that'll help keep the heat in it. All right. <laughs> Don't worry, I have more. So janky. Right. So let's go with the pancake and the fried egg. Y'all, this is heavy. <laughs> um, pancake, fried egg, bacon. It looks like just one strip of bacon in there. 
and some shredded cheese. And I'm gonna try and fold this up or I want you to be able to see. All right, I'm gonna cover this so maybe that cheese will melt. All right, is our other egg done? Oh yeah, it's done. Whew. Okay. Let's get the other one. Let's do the, um, what side of the pancake do I wanna do? Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's put this in here. Let's get the egg, and I'm gonna put the cheese on the egg since the cheese is coming out hot. All right, let me know if we need some more cheese, please. And then beef bacon or whatever bacon you can have. It's so weird. All right. Let's see. Okay. See if it can melt a little bit. And then we're gonna put some syrup on the side. Seed retention's watching with this coffee. Should I make some coffee too since this is breakfast? If y'all want coffee too, I'll make coffee. Okay. Get ready to take our picture. And got extra bacon over there. Um, syrup. Okay, so I have sugar-free syrup. They use, I'm sure, like maple, like 100% maple syrup. Y'all, I'm so greedy. Mm. Okay. So I'm gonna warm some syrup too. Got a little bit left. This is Maple Grove Farm sugar-free syrup, okay? So if you can have regular log cabin, please have some for me. I'm gonna put this in a little container for dipping. I don't think that's enough. Kia says it's coming along so good. Oh, Kia wants more cheese. Okay, more cheese, please. You got it. You got it. Okay, let's make some space so y'all can see. First, let's move the bacon, so, okay. See how it's coming along? Okay. Still warm. Let's move this out of the way. Kia wants more cheese. All right, so let's get like they do at Olive Garden. Tell me when. All right. All right. So we have some more cheese for Kia. I'm wondering, I probably should have like made the pancake and then put the egg, had the eggs done first, but it's okay. Oh, it's melting. The Kia wants more cheese. It's gonna take a little bit more to melt. Let me know if that's looking okay. Y'all, I'm eating one of these. One is plenty. You know what I should do? Like keep it in the foil and like keep it in the pan. That would melt it. Right. More cheese for Kia. All right. And we're going to get some syrup. We're going to warm some syrup. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's get some warm syrup. Move everything out of the way. And then what do y'all think we should do on the side? Some fruit. I got blueberries. I got orange slices. Uh, I got an apple. You really don't need a side. One of these is a meal. 
All right. But let's get a little container for syrup. Because we need to be able to dunk it, right? Hello, east side. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of this. James wants blueberries. Okay, you got it. Blueberries coming up. All right. So I'm just going to pour this in here. Y'all, that's not enough. Let me see if I have another one. Hold up. Okay. And yes, I turn it upside down. Let's see if we can get it all to come out. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Oh. Saved by the syrup. I found another one. All right. So I'll move my janky one over to the side. So we're going to pour enough syrup to dip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Sorry. Oh, gosh. <sighs> okay, y'all let me know if that's enough syrup or if we're, um, if we need anything else. Let me get the, let me work on the blueberries and then we're going to put that syrup in the microwave for like, I don't know, like 10 seconds just to get it percolating. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. Hey mom, who do we have here? Everybody say hello to Nana. If you don't know her, she taught me everything I know. Where are you and the boys? Did I take that down? Mom says, Nana says, uh, Nana would like to give it a try. Maggie, in one word, is impossible. Level head. Oh, it's impossible <laughs> to describe me in one word. <laughs> hello, Brown. I thought mom was calling me impossible. She says, level-headed and grounded. Good job, scholars, for trying. Aw, thanks, Mom. Do I have you in here with the boys? I thought I had a picture of Nana in here. I must have updated, but yeah. Nana taught me everything I know, so I am my mother's daughter. African Wolf is laughing. Okay, what are we doing? Blueberries. Okay. I had some that were starting to look a little bit sad. Don't judge me. So I'm just gonna pick through and get the ones that look good. We'll put them in a little container onto the side. How's our cheese coming along? It's melting. Oh, just underneath the dome, it's melting. I'm melting. All right, and I'm actually gonna put them on top of each other for the residual heat. All right, let's get the blueberries, warm the syrup, and then I think we're good. You mean I'm level-headed? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> okay, blueberries. Um, let's see. I just hate to waste, you know, food. I buy ingredients, and then if I don't use them, y'all, that's why I want to ship stuff to you all. They were looking really good. We used them for Maggie cakes, but... Haven't cooked in a while. I mean, I cook almost every day, but y'all know if I go out or whatever. So I'm just sorting, <laughs> one moment, just sorting these blueberries by hand. We'll rinse these off, put them on the side for a nice pop of color. Mom says your plate should always have three colors. If y'all want some whipped cream on them. Gina says, oh yeah, it looks good. Okay. Y'all know what we could have done. I could have put this in the air fryer let me know if y'all want me to put it in the air fryer for like a minute just to like melt the cheese. If you think we're okay, we're okay. I'm just doing our blueberries and then our syrup. Then we're done. I'm just trying to fill this up to the top. That's my portion. There's a handful of blueberries. If y'all want them with whipped cream, we can do whipped cream. If you want them plain, we can do plain. Remember we did that hack where the blueberries that, uh, oh, hi mom. The blueberries that sink to the bottom were sweet, right? It's Mickey, hello, and uh, hello, Gerald. Brown says, you remember that song? I forgot the song. Oh, time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. Don't encourage me, y'all. I'll start and then I won't stop. Okay, 
I think we're good. They look mostly okay. So I'm gonna rinse these off. Let's dry off the blueberries and then put them in here next to our pancake tacos. A fruit on the side would be good. All right. Coming along. I want a fancier plate, but it's okay. All right. So we have some blueberries. They're going to go on the side. I won't put them in the heat. We'll just let this continue to melt. All that's left is we're going to microwave the syrup. Then I will give you all your presentation. Take a picture and take a bite. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So Cracker Barrel always serves their syrup warm. And this is like a five calorie. This is my sugar-free syrup. If you can have the real like maple habit for me, let me just fill it up. All right. Ten seconds. Let's check. I think we're good, y'all. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Hold up. We want it hot. Is that hot? No. A few more seconds so we can get it nice and hot. So when we dunk it in there. So excited. Hello, I am. Hello, Dima. Y'all are laughing. Ooh, blueberries, yes. Ah, uh, yes, thank you all so much. Let's check our syrup, hold up. Okay, it's steaming. It's steaming. Let me put it on a plate so we don't have an accident. All right, hot syrup, anybody? Okay, I think we're ready. So let's see if we can make our plate look like that. All right. Oh, okay. Let's do this. This. Hot syrup. And blueberries. Let's see. That's fine. All right, y'all, let's see if I can. You know what? I want you to be able to see your food. There we go. All right, so we have our pancakes with beef bacon, Maggie cakes. Ay! Rodney for the cash app. Thank you so much. All right, y'all, I'm gonna take a picture, then I'm gonna take a bite picture and video but i have to say we got a new stream sponsor rodney sends ten dollars he says my favorite substitute teacher thank you thank you thank you that is so kind of you one moment let's get rodney up on the board then we'll take a picture then we'll take a taste and then class will be dismissed we'll see what we think about the pancake taco okay focus maggie focus $10. Thank you, African Wolf and Capone. But we got Rodney with the $10 cash app. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I want to try and get a picture where I can see a little bit of everything the egg, the cheese. Let's see. If I tuck it like that, kind of tuck it. Little food styling. Okay, I think that's good. Now you can see everything. All right. All right. <laughs> hello, be the great, and hello, um, I am. You can't see the plate? Okay, here I come, TikTok. I'm trying, y'all. Let me get a picture of everything. Don't forget, don't worry about. Um, don't be afraid to get close up on your food. That's what my photographer friend said. I'm gonna bring the plate up so you all can see. 
I take several pictures, some with the flash, some without the flash, and that's how my channel started. Did you make that? Yes, I made that. Okay. Now let's do a video. All right, so tonight we made the Cracker Barrel Copycat Pancake Tacos using sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free ingredients. We have the Maggie Cakes, which are cream cheese and eggs. We've got some shredded goat's cheese, a fried egg, and beef bacon. For the side, we have blueberries and sugar-free maple grove syrup. Enjoy. All right, y'all. So make sure everybody can see. So when you see my stuff online, now you know where it came from. I take several pictures because once I eat it, it's a wrap. All right, let's make sure everybody can see. Your breakfast is ready. All right, so you got your cheese, your bacon, your eggs, your pancakes, your syrup, and your blueberries. Everybody can see? Okay. I'm going in for the small one. I'll wrap this up. That'll be for tomorrow. One is enough. How many of these would y'all eat? All right. So I'm going to try and... Uh, I don't know how to... I guess kind of... All right. All right, y'all. I'm going to go in with the syrup. Oh, James, thank you for joining. Let's go into the hot syrup, sugar-free syrup. One moment. Okay, got to get the Maggie roll out. It's very good. It's sweet. It's savory. Thank you for the compliments. However, I probably would break up the bacon because it's a little bit a lot to get it all in one bite. But you've got the cheese. I think the egg is enough. The egg and the pancakes. Let me take one more bite so you all can see. Get up in there. All right. Let's do one more. This is good to expect. Very, very good. That's the only thing I would do differently. I would break up the bacon so that it's like all in one bite. And honestly, you don't even need the cheese. It's good, but it's like a, it's like a McGriddle taco. <laughs> Mrs. Races came in right at the bite in the dance. Hello, hello, looks good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, D-Ray. Thank you all for the compliments. So we made the Cracker Barrel bacon, egg and cheese, pancake taco, but we made it sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. So if you all go to Cracker Barrel and you get their pancake taco, let me know. Mom says, add a couple of strawberries and green grapes for color next time. Okay, Mom. I'll show you what I got. For color, I got an apple instead of strawberries and I got a lime instead of green grapes. But I'm giving you all your color. I told y'all, I told y'all. Rodney says it looks good and tastes good. You can taste it. Let me give you a bite. He says, wonderful job, Miss Maggie. There's a bite for you all. Make sure you can see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go. Yum, 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 yum. There you go, Instagram. And there you go, TikTok. All right, y'all. Well, this was fun. I am going to let you all... Uh-oh. 
<laughs> I'm gonna let you all have your evening. Jurgen is giving me the thumbs up. So I would encourage you, if you can have regular pancakes, do it with a regular pancake. Um, probably just tear up the bacon. This is a little bit on the, um, you know, since it's beef, it's a little bit sturdier, but the flavor is excellent. James is here for the crunch. Yes, it's very, very good. Very, very good. We'll do one more. And then, oh, I'm going to give you all the commercial. So I'm going to take a bite. Then I'm going to give you the 30 second commercial for the finishing class. And then we will, we will dismiss. Mm. all go. I was over here talking to TikTok. Thank you all so much for being here. This was so much fun. I'm going to have one of these and then the fruit. This will be great for the next day. You could wrap this up and warm it the next morning. Or if you feel like eating the whole plate, eat both of them. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Thank you, James. Thank you to my stream sponsors, Rodney. Thank you so much for the super chats. African Wolf, $5. Eka Poem, $4.99. James has joined as a new member. Thank you for being a Maggie member. Thank you to my Patreon, all of y'all. So I will be back tomorrow. What are we making? I don't know. I saw a dessert that I want to try, so we'll see. Uh, when am I making it? I usually stream every evening during the week. I work from home and then I stream for you all. So it's usually about 5 p.m. But if you have your notifications on, hopefully you'll be notified when I'm going live. Ah. Uh, Yes, Silly Jeff, date night was good. We went to Marcel. I don't think I streamed it on uh, TikTok, but you can go to Facebook or YouTube or Twitter and see the steak that I had and the dessert best of my life. Hello, Shining, and hello, Coco. So let's go ahead and dismiss everyone. Thank you all so much, TikTok. I will see you all tomorrow. Class, excuse me, class is dismissed. Thank you for the love. Excuse me, Instagram. Thank you all so much for being here. I'll see you tomorrow for another struggle cooking class. Class is dismissed. All right, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Thank you for the hands up. Thank you for the hand claps. Thank you for all of the love. Thank you, Cracker Barrel, for the inspiration. Gina says, has a great, have a great evening. This was fun. All right, y'all. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. I'll see you tomorrow. Class is dismissed.